Today I'm going to share with you how I found my foundation, not only the shade but the right kind for my skin. This is not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing because we all have different undertones. One can be warm, cool, neutral, or somewhere in between. But if you're still looking for your right foundation, maybe this video will help you out. Since I was in my early 20s, I was already struggling to find the right foundation for me. So I was looking and looking and looking. I've never found the one. Two years after I came to Canada, I found out about this one. This is Eve Pearl Foundation. So since then, this is my favorite. Um, their colors are pretty straightforward. They have like fair, light, medium, dark, and deep. But I did not find it hard to find my shade in this brand. This one has a skincare properties in there. It has antioxidants. Maybe that's the reason why the blendability is really good, but this is not really accessible for me. I have to get it online and the shipping fee is almost half the price of this one. I mean, they go on sale like once a year on Black Friday. So it's just once a year and I was just looking for an everyday kind of foundation, a cheaper alternative that I can just grab from the store. And I came across this. It's a BB cream from the face shop and for a while I settled for this one. Until lately, it doesn't give me the right coverage or the right result that I want. Maybe because my needs change or my skin is aging. So I went back to the same store, the face shop, and the lady recommended this one. She said this is the most popular one. It has SPF 50 and it's water resistant and it blends pretty well with almost all skin type so I got this one in the color apricot beige and I tried it in the store it looks fine but when I came home and put it all over my face it looks too white or too light for me so I went to the store and return it only to find out that they only accept returns within 15 days with an open bottle so I didn't have any choice. I had to come back home with it, not knowing what to do with it. The search for the perfect foundation did not stop right there. I kept watching for more and more YouTube videos. I kept reading reviews and most of the girls in YouTube mentioned about high-end brands, which I don't really want to take a look at because I was just looking for everyday kind of coverage. But although they mention lots of high-end brands, they also recommend um, drugstore brands. And somebody even mentioned that the drugstore foundations already have stepped up their game. So I went ahead and get the most talk about brand Maybelline. So I got this Maybelline Superstay foundation in the color True Beige. Again, at the store, it looks fine. But then when I put it on all over my face, it was too orange for me. I got another foundation, also from Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, in the color Classic Ivory. I know, ivory sounds so light for my medium skin, but the color next to this one that was available at Walmart was a little bit too dark for me. And there wasn't any testers. So I got this classic ivory um, at the store. I tried it on the side of my face and it looks fine. But when I put it on, again, it was too cool for my skin tone. I also can't identify if this one is green or blue. So I probably am neutral. So I went ahead and got Laurier True Match in the color Buff Beige N4, in which N stands for neutral. They also have C4 or W4, in which C stands for cool and W stands for warm. So I got this N4 Buff Beige. Again, at the store, it looks fine. It looks like it's the closest shade for me. But when I came home and put it all over, it looks too muddy, it looks dirty, it looks gray for me. So I kept watching more and more YouTube videos and that's when I came across Wayne Goss, Melissa Alatore, and Simple Annalisa's channel. So each of them made a really good point. Wayne Goss mentioned that skincare products also play a big role in applying your foundation. If your moisturizer is water-based, then it just makes sense that the foundation that will go well with it is also a water-based foundation. 
So Melissa Alatore made a point when she said that when you put on foundation, you have to look at it under natural light because that's when you know when it's really your shade. And then here comes Simple Annalisa. She mentioned something that really hits me. Most beauty creators are in their younger years. So whatever they put on their faces looks good no matter what. That made me realize that maybe it doesn't fit me. Because all of these foundations, when I tried it on, they look like they're just sitting on top of my skin. So it could be so many factors because it's so dry here in Calgary. And number two, my skin is aging. Let's face it. So Simple Annalisa's video is entitled, How to Find... Let me check. Let me check. Entitled, Best Foundations for Mature Skin. And she recommended this product. So right away, I planned a trip to Sephora. But before I did that, I came across... Where is my sample? Oh gosh. I came across this sample in my sample collection and um, I immediately tried this and it's perfect. This is the one I'm wearing right now. And it's in the color medium beige 25. It's a Sephora brand foundation. It says it's oil free and it lasts up to 10 hours and then it has like 39 available shades see those are their colors it's a very wide range of colors I was not planning to buy this one I just want to try it but I was positive that I'm gonna find my color in this so the representative from this brand approached me right away and pick a color first she actually picked this one she buff a lot of product like on this side and she said it's my perfect shape I wasn't even sure about it because I didn't really see the difference I bought it anyways because she said that they have a really good return policy uh, she wants me to try it for a while and decide you know she gave me time to try it and decide so that's why I got this one but still I didn't forget about this because this was on my mind all the time I asked her and she said she doesn't really know about other brands but she helped me anyways she knows where this one is being placed and I told her about the color and she gave it to me right away I already know that this one works right when th this was the first one I tried when I got home like my skin became finer like I cannot see much of my pores anymore so I'm like mm. I'm so glad I got this one and immediately I made a no makeup kind of look like this is the one I was wearing in that video I have seen a lot of YouTube girls mention this but it didn't really occur to me to actually buy this one because this is a powder and I have a very very dry skin and I thought powder will make dry skin even drier but I was totally wrong this is a mineral makeup this is not just a powder and it's talc free maybe that makes a difference it's very quick to apply you just apply it on with your brush that's it like it's so easy to recap number one always ask for a sample put it on all over your face and look at the result under natural light number two if you have decided to get a certain product always ask for return policy because you never know you don't like it uh, I know Sephora has the best policy they will let you try the product out first and they let you return it as long as it's not less than half yeah so they're pretty understanding in that aspect so number three if you have a dry skin like me don't ever ever get intimidated with powder foundation especially bare minerals or especially mineral powders this one literally did not sink in my fine lines maybe you want to consider that yeah so definitely consider your skincare whatever like you know find out if some ingredients in your moisturizer 
doesn't go with the foundation that you are trying. Oil and water doesn't mix together. So, yeah. I hope you found this helpful.